As Milo Moja won, Kenya coalition leader Rilo Odinga's call for talks akin to the 2008 National Accord has split, as you heard in that report by Ibrahim Karanja, opinion among the political class. Kenya Kwanzaa allied leaders have trained their guns on Odinga, accusing him of angling to force a power-sharing deal with President William Ruto. And while the president has insisted on the parliamentary approach, Odinga and his allies are not keen on pursuing that route, arguing that the intended results will not be achieved. And as a push and pull over the format of dialogue continues, NTV's Sydney Chazima now dissects the nitty-gritties between the two formats. Our suggestion is to have a conversation at the national level through a process akin to the 2008 National Accord. Raila Odinga's statement was a flashback to the years when the country was recovering from its worst political dispute that plunged the country into post-election violence. Following the peace agreement between the late former President Mwai Kibaki and Odinga, the National Accord and Reconciliation Act of 2008 was enacted paving way for the agreement on the principles of partnership on the coalition government. With the National Accord came four main agenda that have in a way been replicated in Odinga's latest list of irreducible minimums to the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Agenda one was cessation of hostilities, the violence. So perhaps even in this discussion, agenda one is cessation of mandamano. And then agenda two could be electoral reforms. But in calling for talks anchored on the national accord format, Odinga appears to have rattled the political class. We are saying that going are the days when you will give government ultimatums, when you will want to blackmail government so that you can get your way. We saw a man walking back on his words. We were concerned that either he hadn't been completely forthright with members of his team. It is not proper to think that uh, the only thing that came from the National Accord was uh, a government of national unity. Uh, while that was one aspect, but the process uh, in itself was as important in isolating the issues, in allowing everybody to be on board. While extending an olive branch to Raila, President Ruto called for a purely parliamentary approach to the talks. The president, whose ruling coalition enjoys a majority in both houses, maintains that the process will be fair. We've um, sorted out uh, matters in a bipartisan way in parliament before, irrespective of what numbers there are. It is the resolution of this meeting that a purely parliamentary process will not serve the intended ends. The idea that uh, the president and the ruling uh, party has a head start because of numbers cannot be overruled. But uh, that's not the discussion. Uh, I, I remember when the IPPG discussions or the earlier uh, processes that did away with Section 2A, Honorable uh, Dalmas and team uh, were only superior by one against the opposition. But this will not be the first time Odinga is engaging in talks through parliament. In 1997, the Inter-Parties Parliamentary Group, IPPG, comprising of members drawn from Kanu, DP, Ford Kenya, Ford Asili and Safina, brought about reforms, some that got rid of detention without trial and the extension of Kenya's electoral commission to incorporate members nominated by the opposition. Political parties depending on their strength in parliament were allowed to nominate uh, certain individuals uh, who are then appointed by the president while that perhaps gives a, a feeling that every political party is represented it is sometimes one of the most challenging because then commissioners get there and serve the interests of political parties as opposed to uh, the bigger country while the push and pull between the political class continues on what format of talks should be applied, the discussions can be held outside parliament. But for them to gain legality, then you need to have parliament either pass a law um, or begin certain discussions that will bring certain sets of amendments 
on specific laws that allow those discussions to gain a force of law. So uh, either way, uh, we can't avoid parliament. Sydney Chazima, NTV.